Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am indubitably Sinise. I decided today to come to you with an updated version of my drawstring collection. My first review of my collection was probably almost two years ago. And since then, I've added just a couple of more bags to my collection. So let's go ahead and get into my collection once more with my drawstrings, as well as the new bags that I have acquired. So my first drawstring or bucket bag that I purchased was back in 2020, and it was the end of 2020. Um, Dooney and Burke had released the newer Pebble Grain. Um, this is before the 3.0 came out. And so they had this new Pebble Grain. I was liking truly how the bucket bag was looking. Like previous years, I liked it, but I was never drawn to actually purchase a bucket bag. So my first one happens to be this lovely one in the color Spearmint. Because I love this particular bucket bag or this drawstring bag so much, I decided to purchase another color. Soon to follow the spearmint was the clementine. Love it. Price point was wonderful. Can't tell you what it was, but I know that it was under $150 at that time. And I think the prices, they were starting to go up with all of the Dooney and Burke bags. So I was happy to get this one in my favorite color of orange. So then I went a little bit further. I decided I needed a Florentine bag. So I got my first and only Hattie. Love this Hattie. Love it to death. Love how this uh, the drawstring pull on here is braided. Love this wonderful logo lock on the side. Where you can... Either have it with the, with the Dooney and Burke logo looks like this, or you can switch it up and just show the duck. Love this. I haven't had any problems with this particular uh, logo lock, mainly because I don't carry this a lot. Uh, but this bag is gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. This is in the color navy. So you do have the inside where the lining is leather. And the top part is the suede, the green suede. I think to deem something a collection, you need three or more items. So I got three, so it was official. Now I got a collection. So I went backwards. I said, well, I love this pebble grain so much. And then these prices are looking really good. So then I got it in mustard. Got it in mustard. Haven't carried her yet, but will be very soon. I, I know I will beautiful beautiful color and mustard and decided that i will get a bag in the brown tea morrow color wonderful addition have yet to carry it will be carrying soon as well then i had the bright idea in my mind that i really wished dunenberg would come out with a beautiful greta in navy they had the drawstring bag in the tasha uh, Blakely. I wasn't really gravitating towards that. Next thing I knew, this Kindle came up. So I got the Greta in Navy in the Kindle. Such a wonderful, wonderful bag. And it comes with those tassels. And I love the strap on the bag. I love this strap. Now don't get me wrong. I love the strap on my pebble grain, but I excitingly love the strap on the Kindle. So I got this one. Now at this point, I feel like I have a level of madness going on for the drawstring. And I had been putting it off for a while of getting anything in this particular uh, print or in this leather. And then I saw the drawstring and decided that I need to go ahead and add this particular item to my collection. And I bring to you the Depenta drawstring in the color natural. I thought that this particular leather and this particular color was great for all these beautiful um, strokes of paint. I just, oh, I just, I have fallen in love. The only downside to this is that it doesn't come with feet, but it's not really that bad. And I absolutely positively love the strap. Love the strap on this bag. 
I think it's just such a beautiful art piece to have in your collection. If you have anything to pin to, I hate that I didn't get the um, duck bag or even the um, the Florentine satchel in this. But I'm happy that I did get this along with um, an accessory, beautiful bag, beautiful bucket bag to have in the collection. So after I got that bag, I was just like, okay, just really doing what I do and uh, trolling a couple of sites, ran across Dillard, saw that they had this beautiful bag in hot pink. This is the ostrich. Um, and they pretty much embossed this print into the leather to give you the effect that this is ostrich. And it just reminded me of some boots that my, my grandfather had when I was a kid. It wasn't pink, however, but it was ostrich. And I think my cousin may have had some ostrich boots, too. So I was like, oh, I love this. And it's in the color hot pink. Wonderful, wonderful carry. Love how the duck was made on this bag with the bill being that orange bill. Love it, love it. And it's the brown duck. Love this bag. Love it, love it. And so, initially, I truly, truly felt that that was my collection. I had eight bags on my, my radar. I got them, and I just left it alone. But I'm going to bring to you now the next four bags. And one of the bags you see in the background, do you know which bag that is one of my newest? And it's actually my last bag that I'm going to talk about. But let me bring you the other three first. So, with the fact that I have coated cotton, I have the exotic bag and the ostrich, I have the Florentine leathers here, and then of course I have the pebble grain. Why not another particular material? I thought about the Wexford, and I'm still thinking about the Wexford, actually. I don't know just yet. I think it, it all depends on the color. But, but this particular one popped up on uh, QVC, and it was one of those items that they brought back, I believe they brought back. I think they brought this particular one back and I just was like, I fell in love with it. And it was mainly because I'd seen someone in the grocery store. I saw someone at Sam's with it on their shoulder and I wanted to just snatch it off. I was like, oh, I was like, this, this has to be in my collection. So I bring to you the nylon drawstring. I think that this nylon happens to be the biggest of the... Um, drawstring collection, I guess, as far as my collection is, is concerned. I don't know whether um, there have been some other drawstrings that have been pretty big, but when I tell you this baby sits so pretty to me, I love it. Love the strap, the braided strap, and it does just stand up just like this. <laughs> no matter how I store it, it's just going to stand up. It's pretty stiff, but it's wonderful. And I love how the uh, the pull, the drawstring pull is also braided. On here, it gives you that illusion that it may um, come apart, but it's not. Beautiful, beautiful bag. Has the leather duck on the front. No feet on the bottom, but you see that hey, wherever I placed it, that's the way it was looking. And I just added my little um, duck charm to the side love this bag hoping still really truly hoping that they come out with some additional colors i think in the past they may have had a yellow or kelly green Ooh, if i had this in kelly green i don't know what i would have done but i'm hoping still have my fingers crossed don't come on back with some more of these um bring the colors back i love it love it love it because i truly truly love greta so much and of course you all know that i love it in navy I could not allow myself to let this next color go. The price was extremely right. I think I paid $89 for this, $89. So I said, this has to be in my collection as well. And this is the drawstring Kindle in the color slate. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bag. Love it. Every bag I have, I love it. Love this strap. I'm almost done. This next bag, I didn't even know it existed once upon a time on QVC. One day, I decided to go on eBay and search for Dooney and Burke drawstring to see what was out there. Because I like to do that. If there's a particular silhouette that I'm interested in and I want to go backwards and see if it's on sale or if someone is selling the bag... You know, I do that from time to time. I think we all do that from time to time. And so I came across 
this beauty. And when I saw it, I just couldn't believe it. Went on YouTube. There it had been on QVC some years ago. I think about maybe seven, six or seven years ago. And I was like, oh my goodness, how could I have missed this? And so I, I, I literally had to meditate on it because, of course, you take a chance when you're getting something from secondhand. And eBay was it. This, this particular seller's ratings were really, really great. And the pictures were awesome. I was questionable as to why she did not take a picture of the bag on the inside. But I said, Lord, we're just going to take this chance. We're going to take this chance. The price is right for this beautiful bag. The Claremont uh, Multi Brights. Yes, the Multi Brights Drawstring Bag. When I tell you this bag is in superb condition. I think this person may have carried it once or twice, to be honest. I am in love with this bag. I almost want to tell you that this is my favorite drawstring bag that I've acquired. This, the seller really did a great job in keeping this bag in the right, the best condition. I mean, even down to the tassels. There is nothing wrong with this bag. I'm happy I got it. I'm happy that I saw it. It fits my personality. I love it. And I did not even realize that this top semi kind of goes with it. <laughs> but see, that's how I am. I have multicolored clothing. And then, boom, I did not know Dooney had produced a bag that looked this awesome. Love it. It's that Kindle bag with the strap and the tassels. And then, of course, um, the Chevron uh, look for the colors and then on the inside of this bag let's see i believe it is a red lining but i like at the top it just still gives you the whole appeal of the outside of the bag really really lovely love the bag grateful for the purchase happy that i saw it because somebody else might have been looking for this too but I got it. Sorry. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Happy with this acquisition. So y'all know I've been trying to find, figure out what I want to get in the Denison. Plum wine. Got it. Drawstring. Best option. Best choice that I can make. The price point. Let me tell you a little story about this bag. <laughs> when I first saw this bag back in December, during the all the lovely sales, the best that they could do with the price, I think, was two forty nine dollars or something like that. So I was like, okay, should I go ahead and take the chance and, and get this bag? Something said, wait. So I waited. January comes around. All right, okay. So now the bag is at one sixty six. I said, yes, yes, I'm going to go ahead and get it. Went ahead and purchased it. Came back, I'll say February, the first week of February. Looked on there, the bag was marked down one nineteen. Let me cancel that other order, please. But they had already apparently must have already shipped it out. So as soon as I got it, reviewed it, packaged it back up, sent it back, then this one came a couple of days later. One nineteen for this denison. Beautiful, beautiful bag with the brown tomorrow trim when i tell you i am thoroughly thoroughly satisfied with this purchase in addition to my collection it's purple it fits me i pretty much have my pink bag my purple bag and my orange color bag then i have a multi-colored bag i have my greta on me i i just i'm i i think i'm done i really truly believe that i'm done i love this collection that i've acquired i mean what more can I say? I love it. Don't forget to like this video. Please leave a comment. How many drawstring bags do you have in your collection? Do you have one in your collection? Why don't you have a drawstring bag in your collection? Come on now. I think you at least should have at least one. At least one. Almost to the point I feel like you should have at least one of everything <laughs> from Dooney and Burke. I don't. But I think you should at least have this wonderful drawstring. I love this collection i love the diversity in um the bags and just the way that they're made and i, I just love it i really truly do 
Don't forget to like, share, set up your bell notifications for next video. I'm excited. I'm happy. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.